And now back into the outdoors. See this operation? This is called aquaculture. Aqua means water and culture means to grow. And this operation combines diverse ways to grow, well, edible plants and also something else for the dinner table. Any guesses? I'm ready for some work. So you're the new aquaponic guy. Yep. I don't know if you're gonna need that just yet. So what are we dealing with here? We raise the fish, we feed the fish, and now waste goes through a series of filters, and then the bacteria and microorganisms break down the fish waste into nutrients that the plants can uptake. So we raise the fish in order to feed the plants. Time out. What kind of fish are these and what do they eat? These are tilapia fish, and we actually feed them a fish feed that's been formulated for them. The fish feed is mainly fish meal, soybean meal, and then vitamins and nutrients that help to keep the fish healthy. Wait, soy is a vegetable, and I thought fish eat meat like worms. Well, tilapia are actually omnivores, so they eat meat and vegetables. Omnivore? I'm an omnivore. Good job, guys. How fast do they grow? They grow from about five grams to 454 grams in about a year. There's 454 grams in one pound. I've got this science experiment about how fish respond to eating different foods. Can I try my experiment? Sounds kind of fishy to me, but in the name of science, that's okay. Yes, fish on. Hey, you want a piece of this? Whoa, wine, wine. <laughs> wow, you got one. Get him out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we got one! Nice! Yes. That's huge! <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Nice job, Jacob! Woo, I got one! So here's the fish feed, Jacob. Get a full cup for the fish. Did you guys see George? Where'd he go? I'm pretty sure I learned in biology class that if you eat something, it comes out the other end. And this is some of the small tank, and yeah, and there's a lot of them, so. The fish waste gets sucked out right down the middle, and then it goes out into a tank, which actually filters it out. What do you do with it? It gets taken outside and gets fertilized on the ground, and then the stuff that doesn't get goes through the system and actually provides fertilizer for the plants. You mean those plants? So this is the swirl separator. It takes out the fish waste. Here's the upflow tank where the bacteria break it down into the nutrients. And this is the degassing tank which lets off the gas before it goes into the plant beds. So this is where the plants start, from a seed planted in a rockwell cube. Why rockwell? Why can't it be soil? Because the soil wouldn't work in the aquaponic system. You need something that has a lot more air. And so the rockwell is a combination of the lava rock heated up. Can I see one of them? Sure. See the root coming out of it already? Yeah. So when they get bigger, they, you just put them back there, and but they keep on getting bigger. That's the whole idea, so you can eat them. So the fish water comes into these grow beds where the plants actually float on these styrofoam rafts, and then the roots dangle in the water, taking up the nutrients. So why don't they just live in regular soil? Because the soil can harbor disease and pests that the aqua aquaponic system doesn't, so then we don't have to try to fight disease and pests with sprays. So this is where we transplant the plants from the seedling bed, and we start them off little here, and as they grow, we push them farther and farther down so that we harvest from that end and plant from this end, so it makes it less labor intensive. And as you can see, there we have different varieties growing as well. And then it gets taller and taller and taller. And part of that is the different varieties, because some are green, some are taller, some are red. And so they all, there's over 70 different varieties of lettuce plants. And so like the plants really help take out the nutrients for the fish, they filter the water. And so without one or the other, it doesn't, the system doesn't work. So that's a symbiotic relationship between both of them? That's exactly right. This doesn't look like my grandma's greenhouse. It's way too much technology. We've incorporated a lot of different technologies into this greenhouse to make it more efficient. So we have LED lights, that put out just blue and red lights, and then also the curtains and the fans all control the temperature to get the most optimum growing condition for the lettuce, and it also helps us grow year-round. 
There's a lot of lettuce here. How much do you make a year? One of these grow beds is 100 foot long, 8 foot wide, and there's 1,800 plants in one grow bed. Wow, that's a lot. There's so much science and technology in this operation. Mission Control, I think we need some help sorting out all the science. I got a dinner date to catch. Let's go. And finally, whether it's corn or aquaculture, technology is giving us more diverse ways of growing and using plants like never before. to the